Hi guys and welcome to Drawing Dragons Part 1. I'm super excited to get started with you. So first off, I'm going to pull up some references of real life animals that I'm going to use to base my dragon design on. So I have picked a panther, a bat, a helmeted hornbill and a green basilisk as my animal references. So grab yourself a pencil and we're going to get started. So what I want you to do first is to draw a circle for the head and then a line for the spine or the body. So I'm going to draw a nice sun, a curved line, a bit like a cat sitting up, because that's kind of the shape I'm going for. And then I want you to draw a circle to show where the hip is and a circle for the shoulder. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a bit of a line in to show the tail. So we're just starting to block in where everything in our creature is going to be. And then what we're going to do is we're going to show where the legs and the arms are. So we're going to add in a circle for the knee and a, a line down and a circle for the ankle and then our foot. And we're going to do the same for the arm. So we're going to draw a line from our shoulder to our elbow and then down to our hand. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start blocking out our dragon design. So we're going to add in a bit of a shape on the torso. So we're going to create a bit of a chest shape. We're going to expand the head shape as well. So we're going to, I'm going to give this dragon a nice sort of long muzzle. I'm going to add in that beautiful horn on the top of its head that we have on our reference bird. I'm going to add in an eye. And then what we're going to do is we're going to flesh out maybe the neck, a bit of the back and the shoulders, going all the way down to the hip of our dragon. So we're going to basically give it some shape and body. And then what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to revisit the tail as well and just play with the shape of that. So we've now got our very rough outline. So next what we need to do is we are going to flesh out our legs and arms. But what we're going to do is we're going to give it some shape and form. So we're going to draw some curved lines going around the circle of the knee down to the ankle and then draw a sort of a curved shape for our foot. And we're going to do the same on the arm. So we're going to draw sort of curved cylinders around the two circles and then link them up down the bottom. And then we need to add in some wings because our dragon is going to fly. So I'm just going to create sort of the main structure of our wings. So looking at those bat wings and how they kind of curve around and have bends in them. So I'm just going to create something like that. So and then add in some folds to show where the material of the wings are going. So that's the first side and then of course we've got to do the other side because they have two wings. So I'm going to draw a wing shape on the other side of their body. And then we're going to do the same for their legs and their arms. So in the end we shall have two wings, two legs, two arms, one tail, one head and one beautiful helmeted horn. So that's it guys, we have created the basic structure of our dragon. So join me next time for part two, where we're going to put in all of the beautiful details and design elements to create your unique dragon. See you next time.